So I was supposed to come to Newfoundland to go moose hunting with some of my really good friends, and this asshole <laughs> is standing at the bottom of the escalator. What are you doing here? Master Rang, the guy who taught me how to cook, decided to ambush my moose hunting trip. What an asshole. <laughs> What's going on, man? They asked me to come. Surprise you. got time you. off work. That right. I was supposed to go moose hunting. What are you, what are you doing? You're going to come moose hunting? Follow you. <laughs> Flashback. I dragged Rang to my hometown to show him where I came from. And now it seems Rang's going to do the same. Forever love. Forever love. I love you. I love you. Ow. Ow. Rang fled Vietnam 37 years ago. He ended up in St. John's. He's going to show me all of his favorite spots. The adventure begins right now. Master Rang Maddie in Newfoundland. This is going to be the master. I'm here in Newfoundland, my very favorite place in all of Canada. I've come to The Rock for one thing and one thing only, to go moose hunting with amazing chefs Jeremy Charles and Cumin Han. Joining me, the man who taught me how to cook, Master Ray. <laughs> my favorite mother <laughs> whole wide world is gonna show me his side of Newfoundland. We're hitting George Street. We're going to Quinty Vinny Village. It's called The Rock. I love it. You guys are going to love it. Welcome to Newfoundland. Are we going to get to visit some of your people then? I'm going to show you around. You're going to show me your Newfoundland. Not right. Rang fled Vietnam 37 years ago after the Vietnam War. He landed in Newfoundland when he was nine years old. He spent his childhood bouncing around foster homes. Rang hasn't been back to St. John's in 25 years. When did you come to Newfoundland? I, I, I escaped Vietnam in 1979. Uh, by boat. Yeah. Back in the early days, they called it boat people. Yeah. Vietnamese Nufi. Vietnamese Nufi's good. That's right. Do you remember that that rock? Yeah. <laughs> Stop my fun of me. I'm excited New, for you. New Gower Street. You just like say every street. You just like read the street signs. Watch oh. out! Don't turn into this. Oh my God. Rang. Let's focus. Bishop College. Bishop College. This is it. This is where you went to school. That's right. School dance. Remember that. School dance. Young kid, I mean, a lot of school kids, they love to fight with me because I'm different. Right. And they call me Bruce Lee. Hey, Bruce Lee! Yeah. So I had to put up the Bruce Lee thing. Right. Right? In design. Whoa. Yeah. Where's that? There's Bruce Lee. Look at this guy. You look, you look like something out of, like, the Warriors. Yeah, I have a lot of teachers stay after school try to yeah. um, uh, help, help, you. Me, help me with my homework. Okay. And my pronunciation. Uh, pronunciation. Yeah, pronunciation. Yeah, pronunciation is my, fine. No more chink. No more chink. No more chink. I'm hungry, Rang. Where are we going to go eat? We're going to do a Leo fish and chip. Leo's? Yeah. Leo. Leo. Right here. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good memory. Yeah, Rang mm. says that this is the place he was coming to like 25 years ago. 25 years ago, this is the place. Can you smell the love? Can you, can you feel the love? I think this is the like perfect kind of restaurants. Yeah. You know, they're classic. Yeah. They've been run by the same family, so they're not changing, and they're just serving you know the best thing that they can. Yeah, back in my day, I was uh, working downtown at Jewish Street. Oh. Yep. Uh, I worked at Water Street at the Bowser. Okay. It's called Friday. Oh, okay. Okay. And after all the gloves, we all went and come back here and eat. Mmm. 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 <laughs> You're the man. You're the man. You're the I man. love you. I love you. Ooh. Ooh. See, that's what we do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> in my old days, I used to bounce for two club, and uh, So up. you were an actual bouncer? Yes, sir. You used to handle everything. So here we are, Rang, George Street. This is it. The most notorious drinking block in probably all of Canada. On the weekend, this block right here, yeah. you see the bad, oh, drink, let me eat the good. Come on, guy, let's get the f out here. Come on, guy. And the ugly. That's it. Young, the old. Like me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like you. The handsome. Now, unfortunately, I'm the one who have to pay for. That's it. 
My ninjas wear black, 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 black. They don't wear swords, but they got black, black, black. Brass knuckles make your ribs crack, crack, crack. Body shots make your head snap. Black, 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 black. Ninjas wear black, 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 black. They don't wear swords, but they got black, black, black. Little Trav. Yes, sir. You acted up. That's right. Now you gotta go. You line up, you can get in. Rang suddenly got real quiet while we were driving. I guess he was a little nervous as we were on our way to see his foster family, who he hasn't seen in over 25 years. They wanted to call the, uh, the foster family. You're going to call your foster family? Yeah. Oh, OK. Call yes. them. And, uh... <sighs> stop here, stop here. Hello? Hi, Bunny. This is Rang. I on the way to see you. Well, you're going to have to come to my hands, because we're serving the pizza stuff we're here now, so you're going to have to call. Roll thunder and cheese, here we come. Yes, boy. Yeah. All right, love you. Yeah, bye. Bye-bye. Right, right. She didn't say I love you, though. <laughs> so how did the whole process happen? Like, how did you get into, like, the foster care? So basically, it's the government, the, uh, the, Catholic, uh, the Catholic society, I mean, yeah. Catholic church, treat me well, look yeah. after me well. Never forget that. No. Never forget. How long has it been since you've seen your foster family? Jesus, over 25 years now. Over 25 years you haven't seen these people? Yeah. Never forget people who, uh, who help you. No. After you, buddy. Welcome. Here you go, to 25 years, 25 eh? 25 years, yeah. Bunny! Ryan, I'm home. Hi, 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 hi. Jesus, Thompson, look at this. How you doing, baby? Hi, hi. Look at Carson. God love you, dude. How you doing, bro? Oh, Low Jesus. Low thunder and Jesus. <laughs> he hasn't aged. Did, did you smell something? It smells beautiful. <laughs> that, that mommy cooking. Yeah. What you have? What you cook for dinner for me? A jig's dinner for you. A what? what? A jig's dinner. A what jig your mother dinner? used to cook? Like mommy always cook? Yes. Yeah, got... like a salt beef. Yes. A jig's dinner is a traditional Newfoundland dinner. It's like having Thanksgiving dinner every Sunday. This is where you get a real Newfoundland dinner in my own home. 25 years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Kids. I'm sorry. <laughs> sure it's not the first time they yeah, heard I'm that. Sorry. I'm sorry, kid. He's been talking about you guys since, like, I met him in 2003. Yeah. That's your moose right here. We got moose. Yep. We got we got some dressing. Yep. Turkey. Turkey. We got some salt beef. Yep. And you were all grown up in the garden. You grew all your vegetables? Yes. Oh, beautiful. Oh, Might not fit in the end here. Yeah, I'll sit here. OK. Wow. Amazing. You remember one thing when we used to eat dinner? You pray. Oh, Jesus Christ. There you go. That's the beginning. <laughs> You're halfway through. Thank you, Lord and Jesus, our family. Um, uh, we have time together. We spend time together. I'm glad we all having dinner, beautiful dinner with all the family. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Ryan. I was in New Flame for a long time, but I always remember the Stanley. I always remember New Flame. Where people help me out, people took me in, and you know it's a good memory. And you know I've been uh, living in a few foster homes, and this is my last foster home mm -hmm. before I become a young man. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very fortunate, very lucky to have the Stanley family, mm -hmm. Ma Margaret, Harry, yeah, this is the parent, and uh, they love me unconditional love. Oh, is that that's the yeah, parents? That's Harry Stanley, mm -hmm. yeah, that's mommy. How are you feeling today? Good, no. Yeah. It's okay? Yeah. yeah. I wasn't too good. Uh, no, I'm not too bad today. Today is a good day. Yeah. It's yeah. good. Thank God. Yeah. Today is a good day. We need that. Yeah. It's all about family, you know? It is. It's beautiful. I'm almost crying now. Are you going to cry? Yeah. You getting emotional? Yeah, I am. So, Ray, we got to go down to Mallard Cottage. It's an amazing restaurant. Okay. And that's where we're going to meet. Cumin and Jeremy Charles, and we get to go moose hunting with these guys, no two of way. the best chefs in Canada. Thank you, sir. So we're here at Mallard Cottage, an amazing restaurant in Newfoundland, run and owned by my very good friend, Todd Pirin. He's a beautiful man. He's got a beautiful head, and uh, he makes beautiful moose food. We're going out there with, you know, high expectations, but you still got to go out there with kind of like no expectations, right? But this is the first year I actually applied for a bull. Yeah out in Area 18, so. What are the chances of you actually getting, like, your first year applying and you get a tag? Like, that's pretty crazy, right? A young bull would be nice. Okay. You know, something not too big, because quite honestly, if they get really large and challenging, the meat's sometimes not as good. Right. 
we were able to serve moose at the restaurant, you know? Yeah. What you guys out there in the world might not know is that Newfoundland is the only province in all of Canada that can serve wild game. You got Cooking some moose? Dinner. <laughs> we got a little bit. This is uh, some braised moose. And then this guy over here is you can't have moose without sausage, so. I've had a lot of lambs show up in my back door. Like we know that they come from a farm. But when we started taking, when I started taking my cooks to farms and doing all that kind of stuff, they really started to see that like, if they overcooked something or if they something up, they're really like disrespecting that animal. You know, it's, it's been a way of life here forever and it hasn't changed that much. Yeah. You know? So people still hunt for their food. There, there are lots of people around the island that the only meat they eat is meat that they kill themselves. How many people live in Newfoundland? Five, just over 500,000. 500,000? So there's almost as many moose as people. Like, you know, like halfway. <laughs> On the Northern Peninsula, there's more moose than people. Anyways, guys, if you guys are good to roll, just smash the rest of this food and we'll hit the high road. Yeah, buddy, let's get out of here. Hour drive, so the sooner we get there, the better. Terry's buddy has a license for a bull in Area 17, and I got one for Area 18. Okay. Bull or calf. We're gonna go shoot a moose, hopefully. God bless. Early, about 5 a.m. out here in Lloyd's River. We're going moose hunting. We got here to the hunting cabin late last night. The boys drank a couple bottles of rum, a few bottles of rouge. We're gonna have the best day of our lives, because you know what? God is shining upon us today. Sorry, guys. Oh my God. The OnStar system is not active. Newfoundland is like no other part of Canada. It, 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 it's beyond special, it's its own thing. You know, and coming out here, it's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing and uh, humbling thing to be a part of. Polly's the man, just got out of his truck, saw a grouse in the tree, shot it. What? <laughs> the big reveal. So we're driving, Cumin and Terry and Polly, they saw some big bull tracks. So we pulled over. Where, where do you think that the, they are down there? Uh, just underneath the ridge, there's a bog. Okay. There's a big bog and it holds a lot of animals. That's, okay. That's where he just, he went down that way. This is not a joke. Shit's gonna get serious right now. Shut the f up. Me and Terry are gonna go down and you guys will follow along. You can up around. Terry's gonna do some moose calls. Moose call. Sorry, go ahead. Some moose calls. Yeah, moose call. And then once they know that the moose is there 100%, we'll go down and then hopefully Cumin, he'll shoot. La 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 la. La 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 This is like Vietnam. We call. We, we, we gonna we gonna track down. We call. Yeah. Okay. Are you upset that they won't unlock your gun? But you don't have to say that, goddammit. Well, you're scaring around a gun. It's kind of like a toy. I want to be somebody. Okay. It kind of sounds like someone's like, like after they barfed a lot and they're just kind of moaning. You gotta make a different face. Yeah, look at me. Yeah, angrier. Terry's really working his uh, moose call down there. I can hear him. Yeah, he's he's the man. If uh, you're in the woods looking for moose, you you want to be with Terry Burns. So we're, you know, everything's lined enough. We just gotta just wait and be patient. Busy. So we we come up to where uh, Cuban and Terry are, and the moose call back to them. But we're just waiting for it to come out of the woods into the clearing. Uh, there's a lake in front of us. The sun's coming through the clouds. It's kind of snowing. It's very, very magical. I think we just missed him. We 
got up right at the end. Of, he was heading in to lie down again. We'll get set up and come back for the evening. Bastards. So it's sun up, sun down kind of thing? Yeah. Moose come out to feed in the mornings and evenings. By this time, they were all sleeping in the bush. So we decided to go back to camp and try again later in the day. So the weather is changing about every 15 minutes. Snowstorm, beautiful. Snowstorm, raining. Beautiful. Snowstorm, central. Newfoundland, and it's beautiful. But the weather is very crazy. You got a moose shot on the road? What? What? We got a moose down. <laughs> Cue, baby. What? Are you kidding me? You guys just missed it. We pulled out one ahead of you. Yeah. We turned this bend right here, and there he was, right on the top of the hill, staring right at me. What? Yeah. Unreal. Is the neck? Is that an after shot to make sure? After we shot him, he went down right away, and then we bled him out. Yeah. So that's a, this is the best case scenario to shoot a moose. Bleed it right away, heart pumps out all the blood. Oh my god. I want a hug. This is amazing. Congratulations, oh. man. You did, did it, you man. got you did that, right? Yeah, you here you go, baby. It. God love you, did it. That's, that's supper tonight. You did it. Supper tonight, supper tomorrow. Wow. Are we going to field dress it right here? We're going to do it right here. Yeah? Yeah, today's the day, man. That's real life. Yeah? Walk us through this. So we just took the moose and put it on its hind side, and we take the antlers there and just stick them to the ground. That way it's stable. Something like this, right? We're out here in the middle of the woods. It was killed properly, safely. It was shot in the head. This moose is gonna have like literally zero waste. People need to understand that the life was given and we need to do our best job as chefs. This is where meat comes from. Now I Look at that, man. I'm, under your skin. I'm, I'm pulling out the, uh, the organs of a moose. It's so nice to be able to use every part of the animal and the cheeks, the tongue, the heart. These are a lot of things that are always left behind. What do you call them, Terry? Uh, it's whiskey jacks. Jack. Yeah. yeah, it's a great jack. They eat, they eat them in Sweden. Yeah. yeah. Just for conservation, you tag it right away before you put it in any vehicle. That way you can identify the moose and then you got your tags in. Cumin bagged his first bull, a beautiful experience to be a part of. We're here in the cabin, we're all cleaned up, and you know what we got? So what we got here is the meats that you can eat on the day of the kill. We got the leg, beautiful. We're gonna grind that up, we're gonna make a tortier. We're gonna use the leg bone over here, little bone marrow. We got the heart, we have the cheeks. There's no waste on this animal so far. It's unbelievable how people leave these things in the woods, man. You know, they don't, I don't think people realize how beautiful moose cheeks are. We're gonna sear them off, brown them off, and uh, braise them out for a few hours and serve that with uh, a lovely risotto. All the vegetables in the meat are good to go. Then we spread it out, melt the butter in the middle, and then we're gonna put in a bit of flour in there. Then we're gonna put it back into a pot, put a cold pastry on top, put the bone in, the bone marrow, and then bake. When you're cooking with pros like this, it's always really exciting just to see how they go above and beyond, even with the simplest things. Dudes out here making braids of dough. Any peacock curl? No, I don't, bro. What do you got going on here? Growing up as a kid, I spent a lot of time in the basement with my father, tying trout flies, salmon flies. Okay. So we use our, our moose here. Pretty classic pattern when it comes to salmon fishing, called the blue charm. The flies change into a moose hair wing, which cuts through the water, lovely. A lot of the classic patterns are tied with, with moose here in the wing, and uh, they're very, very successful, so. Blue Charm. <laughs> Blue Charm sounds like ecstasy or something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's horses. Do you 
you guys serve moose heart tartare at Raymond's? Oh, for sure. The cheeks, the tongue, the heart, these are a lot of things that are always left behind, so when we're fortunate enough to, to get some moose hearts and tongues and all that kind of stuff, we, we definitely uh, showcase that in the menu. Chef Rang, <laughs> you're upstairs on the grill, bud. Do something. No, no, just don't <laughs> up. How about that? Come on. How now. about you don't overcook the moose, bruh? Just don't up. How about you don't overcook the moose, bruh? Bruh, 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 bruh. If I f up, mad they're gonna get mad at me. It's embarrassing. Everyone's nervous. You go, guy. A piece of gold from Newfoundland jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Nice cuisson, chef. I try, you know. Can put your guy down. You know, make you proud. Make myself proud. <laughs> try to be somebody. Yes, chef. You're still nobody. Bloody no. It's a beautiful thing, you know. Like the food speaks for itself. You know, we got we got a grouse that was shot out of the forest this morning. We got moose pie. We got heart tartare. We got a tenderloin. Some beautiful glazed cheeks with a simple, beautiful saffron milanese risotto. You can't ask for better stuff than this. You know, the people that you love and respect, and you're sharing your food with them, and they're bringing us into their homes. Brian, what do you think, buddy? What do I think? It's it's, it's no word I can say anything. Yeah. Man. Happy. I get emotion. I will cry. I mean, it's, yeah. I, mean see, I got a chance to see a lot of good friends, spend time with you, and spend time with these uh, good people around here. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing, isn't it, Rang? I'm glad I came. I'm glad you're here, buddy. I love okay. you. Cheers. 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 To your good heart health. and soul. God love you. I love you. I love you. Be with me. Be with you.